Hello and welcome to my channel again. Most of you guys have been asking how I make whiteboard animated videos. It looks complex but it's not at all. That's why today I decided to show you all the processes that you can follow to make a whiteboard animated video. But before I proceed, here are the requirements for these processes to be successful. The first one is the software called the video scribe. Actually it's paid, but you can get a free trial for evaluations. But as long as to make things done, it costs worth it. The second requirement is to have the best voiceover. You can go for the best microphone and recording software. I can recommend the software called Audacity. It is free and it gets the job done as well. The third requirement is the script. Well, you understand that before making anything, you have to plan it in advance. That's why we have to write a script that we will base on while making voiceovers and animations. And the last one is to grab a cup of coffee, start working and get your hands dirty. And without further ado, let's get the job done. And let's suppose that you have successfully made the voiceover and you have your script running on. Now this is the first interface you see when you open the software. As you can see, there is the add button that is now used to add a new scribe and there is the previous project that I was making. And in this case, you will go ahead and, pre and click on this create new scribe icon and it will bring the interface like this one. And before proceeding to anything, I will have to introduce a software a little bit. And as you can see, like other software, as we have what we call a standard toolbar and to contain some icons that we are going to move like in and really quick in order to start, to start without any confusion. The first icon is the save or the export or the new scribe button and you can be familiar with that button. What does it do? And the second one is the, this one that is used to add an image to the canvas. And as you know that all this is workspace that we, what we call a canvas. So if you want to insert any image or any art from the video scribe library, you will be using this tab. And the third one is the add text to the canvas. And this is used when you want to add some text. And uh, uh, when you click here, you can see that it uh, asks you to type your message. And when you press on here, it will add automatically our, our message. And you will see that in a bit. And the third one, uh, I mean, the fourth one is down now the icon to add a chart. For example, if you are going to make a comparison video and you want to add like a pie chart or a bar or a line chart, you will use this tab. And the th fifth one is the, the a tab where you can use a music track for the scribe. Uh, for example, you can make a scribe without any voiceover, but you can add uh, like a music or any other thing. And the sixth one is where you can record the voiceover on the go. But I can't recommend you to do this because uh, it doesn't allow, allow you to have flexibility to, to edit your voiceovers. And as I mentioned, there is a third party program that can be used to make that one. And the seventh one is now to ch is the change the paper texture or color. And you can change, doesn't need to be white all the time. You can change with the color or any other things. Uh, and the, the last one is now, not the last, not the last because there are the others in the right corner here. But this one is the one that you use to change from one view to another one. We will see that in a moment. And the other is the, the prey. When you want to preview the scribe, you can go here and now the, you preview the scribe that you have previously making. And the, this one is the publish or the render when you want to render or the works that you have done on this scribe. And this is now the timeline, like you know, editing software, they process the timeline where you can press all your clips and then you can proceed with the arrangements. And on the timeline, you will see where it is now cut to, cutting to the copy and the paste and the camera set and the camera out and the visibility. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and we see how to make an animated video. Uh, let's say uh, I'm going to make like an introduction, let me go and grab some text and we say welcome welcome to Chris like this one and when uh, I can customize uh, some things here when I want to customize the font I can go on this tab 
and I can choose the font that I need to use and in this case I relate it to the basic because I don't want to make things complicated here and you can choose the color in this case let me choose like green and here we go and as you can see on the canvas it will come in the center and in this case it doesn't it doesn't give any sense because we need to to do a record to set the camera that is the tip to use this software uh, so it means when I want this text to be here I will press it here and then I will now go and set the camera so it means that whenever I try to play this text it will be on that corner it will never go anywhere even if I can pull it in the center like this one it will come where you set the camera too so uh, let me try to play the scribe and as you can see it's now playing from the, the, the left corner where I pressed it and here there is another option that is uh, saying let me play again and here's another option that uh, pray is uh, that say that we have to zoom at the end uh, when you are not uh, yet finished your scribe you can turn it off and in this case let me uh, adjust and I can press it in the center and I can set the camera here. When I press again, it will play from the center. Welcome to place like this one. And uh, I can now mess up with some things here on the timeline. When you click here on this first clip, it will show you like visibility to turn it on or off. It will show you the seconds where, where the animation will go through and you can come on here you can change a lot of things here you can change the animation time like let me make it like 1.5 we can make the pause from one video or one clip to another and let me let me say that i don't want i don't want any pause from this scribe this clip to another clip and there will be the transition time this is the time that we will take from uh, moving from the, this clip to another clip that I will add. Let me turn. Let me turn it uh, on 0.5, and then I press OK. And in this case, when I press, we see that the speed increased. And it, it doesn't matter. You can go and play around. You can uh, select the speed that you want. And I don't know what, 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 what we can do. And in this case, uh, let me try to uh, make like an, um, a transition or an a new kind of animation when i do like this one i press it here and try to add image let me add like um let me add like uh, uh, a person sitting in the office i can do it like this one and i can uh, I press it like like this let me press the camera here let me go and uh, like mess up with some things here let me put like um uh, like we let me make my animation to go with four seconds let me set the pause to zero and the transition to 0 0.5 seconds okay in this case um let me go ahead and i try to pray to see what i have made so far welcome to chris to go up and to add the person like that one and it doesn't matter now on the speed i said you can set you as as i was previously saying okay and uh as you have seen that uh, i have seen the animation went from chris and chris go to the top to set the camera to this new element that i added here okay i hope guys you have seen the idea of now how to make an animate the video you can add more features you can add like a chart you can go and add some data and let me add another thing in order to show you um many things here those, those, those are what i was previously making you can make according to the script that you have made um you can come you can rotate you can uh, it is true that working and his money press the camera here reduce the size of the animation and after reducing you can pray to see what you have done and if you want to play an individual clip, you go on it and you see this play button. You can go and play it like this one and to play it individually without starting or the animation. Okay, and um, I was now still compositing my thing. Let me go ahead and add some cache. Because when you walk, you sit down and walk, you will add some cache. I can illustrate this using the video scribe animation okay in this case let me like reduce the size of this one and make it like 
one second and transition I like always let me let me remove all the transitions and you mess up with this again okay so when I try to play all the current scribe it will play like this one and guys I hope you have seen all these processes and uh, the last one to do is um, to show you how to insert a video track when you go on here you can open an audio track I mean you can go and open your location where you have put it and when you want to take a voiceover you can click on there you can see all this when you get the software you can go and mess around and have an exploration on uh, how to make those ones and I want this video to be 10 minutes and in 10 minutes you can make your like your own whiteboard animated video and the reason why the people like animated the video they are fun they are easy to make and at all they are not costly okay the last thing now I have to uh, to make the uh, the end of my video is to learn that when you have finished your work you have to publish a video that, that can be understood by a lot of prayers or uh, any encoders to do that you go here and press on publish or render and it will show you this one you can select the location here you can go and you press here you can see the title let me say my first animated video okay like this one and here is where you can choose the format in this case i'm going to leave it at the 720 that, that is the standard hd and you can choose this the the format in this case let me leave it at AV, as avi and the last thing is to set in the location let me put it on the desktop to see it more clearly and then place on select folder and after you go and place here and then you, you, you wait for the encoding to be done and they will come in a bit and show you some additional stuff and then we'll be done okay and after exporting to want to pray it let me choose my prayer here to we go and pray what we have done and in this case i didn't add any voiceover but i was demonstrating on how you can do, do that but when you add the voiceover to it you will build uh, included in this video and as you can see now it's praying like that like you have done okay and we, 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 we the last thing that i want to show you is now to compress this video maybe it's possible that it will be a very long video and you will see now it's very huge in file size in this case this was 1.881 megabytes it's less head but we have to add like a little bit of lossless compression uh, that can make this video smaller in size but still be in its quality I, there is a software that you, i have made a video on how to do that but there is a software that is called that is called handbrake you can go and double click on it to open and to open the handbrake okay it's opening and you can go ahead and it's asking to drag and drop a file or further there let me drag this file like there and to it open like this one and we have to adjust some very very basic settings here i uh, will leave the preset as this one i will go on with the video i will have to pull this up to 28 28 it doesn't lose the quality and then you choose the output as um, like this one and with the video let me put on the desktop and i will, uh, I will add like a uh, small like this one and, and I will start now encoding and we will wait a couple of seconds and now it's done when you go on the desktop and you are going to compare the smallest value and this one and as you see now this video is still in, still with the, in the best quality still in the best quality and you see the quality doesn't change but when you you consider the file size will be now smaller than that one to in this case it will be 187 kilobytes instead of being one point uh let me see this one this was uh, like 1.81 
Okay guys, I hope you liked this video too much and if you liked it, don't hesitate to smash the like button and if you're coming on this channel for the first time and don't leave without pressing the subscribe button once and turn on the bell icon to get notifications and peace out.